It is coming up on 1130 on your Thursday. You know what that means? It's time for Florida Weekly. And today we're back in the action, back in person. Eric, it's nice to officially meet you in person. No, yeah. we've only met this over the first uh, time. about a year and three months since I've been in, so it feels yeah. almost normal. Long time coming. Good to see you. Yeah, Eric forgot his earpiece, so we're getting back in the groove. Hopefully we can learn how to do this in person <laughs> I'm again. sorry. Next no, week. no, don't be sorry. Uh, we're going to start talking about the economy. Last month, the U.S. economy added 266,000 jobs. Unemployment actually went up, though. Restaurants are being particularly hit hard, not being able to fill the positions that they have open. Why is that, Eric? Well, we're seeing that when it comes to restaurants, uh, these folks are, uh, plenty of jobs are to be had. And the question kind of becomes, why are there long waits? Why can't they get fully staffed? Why is that? We sit down and find out this week's Florida Weekly. One complaint is that with unemployment, state and federal, folks are actually making more staying at home than going into a job. We checked it out. Based on numbers, we found folks, some are looking at about $14 an hour to do next to nothing. So when it comes to what restaurants pay, some are just opting out. Other point is that not just the money, but they're hoping for more respect in the industry. Either way, we look to the future on what's to come. And we even saw McDonald's raising minimum wage to try to entice workers. Yeah, and a lot of states are dropping the extra benefits. So it'll be interesting to see what happens over the next few months. But speaking of businesses, you need good leaders in a business to have a successful one. Yeah, and we kind of take a make a baseball metaphor here. Like, how is your bullpen? So when it comes to leadership roles, uh, who do you have moving up? Is there somebody out there warming up? This week we show that the importance of looking to the future in your business when it comes to leadership roles is really essential. Yeah, depth is always important. Uh, you're talking about an author who writes about her experiences as an immigrant. Yes, and so Layla Lal Lalami, uh, her book recently came out, Conditional Citizens, takes a look at people who may be embraced on one arm but pushed away by the other. Our writer Nancy Stetson sits down with her and takes a look how crossing the borders effects of a sense of identity and it seems to be conditional and so she writes about that and we sit down and talk to her about it interesting perspectives uh speaking of things to do we're almost at the weekend we've got jazz glam bam burlesque that sounds fun <laughs> yes always plenty to do check out florida weekly for a full calendar of things to do and we have some special picks including the glam burlesque at uh, players circle we also have co wetzel at the ranch uh, we have street heroines exhibit at uh, alliance for the arts Beehive at Broadway Palm, comedy shows including Flying Brian for 1055 at Laugh In, with other film festivals in town, a full moon yoga party, and more. Always pick us up online on stands and on your device. And right here on NBC2. Full moon uh, yoga party? Full moon yoga party. That so, sounds like it could get weird. <laughs> yeah, no, any t anything full moon blank can get weird. And when it comes to yoga, be prepared for anything, I guess. All right. Interesting. You'll have to check it out to yeah. find out. <laughs> Eric, thank you so much for coming. Great to have you back in the studio again. Great to be here. We'll see you next week. Thank same you. time, same place. Appreciate all that you see guys you do. Thank you. All right, you got it.